What is up, Saints? I'm back with another Christian Man Reacts video. Where if you've been watching, you know the intent of my content is to present good and wholesome entertainment. Whether or not I do, that's up to you. Uh, but if you've been watching long, you'll recognize the tan hat, which means we're doing music today. And uh, we're going to look at... Um, uh, one of well not one of my favorite band uh, by far the, the the greatest band that I've ever experienced um, just to, to, to give you an idea of how impactful this band was to me um, I grew up as a, a lost a lost man a, a irreligious without any faith um, grew up um, a fan of metal um, and, and I, I, I was poor, I didn't really have access to, to, to buying my own CDs and whatnot, so I usually just listened to what was on the radio or what I could discover through my friends. Um, so I was like a big fan of, of, of your more popular metal bands like Pantera, Metallica, um, Rage Against the Machine, Korn, um, that kind of genre of music, that, that's what I really enjoy. And so when I got saved, um, I, I really wanted to find a genre of, of Christian music um, that could impact me the same way that Christian metal did. I, 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 I wasn't content uh, with just church music, um, and, and I wasn't mature enough to understand uh, hymns yet. Now, like a, like a, a beautiful, God-glorifying hymn is just amazing, um, and, and so, but anyways, um, I couldn't find it like I, I i didn't have access um to to the knowledge i didn't i didn't know where to find this kind of music um i just wanted something that that would um replace the the secular metal that i had listened to and so i went through a a, a long searching process um at first i i was only able to discover some of your more popular um, like radio type Christian rock bands, uh, like Audio Adrenaline, uh, Cutlass, um, Sonic Flood, things like that. And, and yeah, that was really good music, but it wasn't at the level that I wanted it to be. It just wasn't, um, heavy enough for me. It wasn't, it wasn't just thrilling enough to me. And so eventually I started just trying to research and, um, through the internet, I would, I would do like, uh, Google searches for, Christian bands that sound like Metallica, Christian bands that sound like Korn, so on and so forth. And through that, I ended up finding a lot of great bands, um, Spoken, um, um, Seventh Power, um, Sleeping Giant, and and so on and so forth. And um, so I, 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 I started discovering this, 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 um, genre but it was really a small field because because most of the christian metal that i would find would be like your striper or your rob rock which was kind of like that 80s hair metal um the van halen uh poison that type of stuff and and i never enjoyed that like i liked guns and roses but but like all that other stuff was i just i i really couldn't stand it to be honest i thought it was kind of cheesy I didn't understand why the men sung like women and um so i i was really kind of turned off by that kind of music um since then i've grown to appreciate some of them and a lot of people will be shocked to hear that because they will throw the theocracy into that uh in, in into that blanket statement they'll say the theocracy is one of those um 80s hair metal band types um to which i would say no 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 they are not uh theocracy has more of a um, what you would call progressive rock feel. Um, the vocals are not as high pitched and girly as most of the 80s rock, um, although he does have a unique um, voice. Uh, I would I would say that I would put Theocracy like a this weird mixture or not weird this beautiful mixture of like Metallica. Uh, with its instrument instrumentality and its 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 heavy guitar riffs and fast paced uh, drums and stuff like that, along with the musical talent of like Queen or Rush, and 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 so it's this this blend like Dream Theater. Um, it's just 
when I first discovered this band, I, I wept. I wept tears. I was so happy that I had finally found um, this amazing metal band that not only met my expectations coming from that secular background, but surpassed it. I would say Theocracy is far beyond any other band I've ever listened to because the lyrical content, that was the other problem. A lot of Christian metal bands that you found were, were either that 80s hair metal or they were the scream like, rrr, 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 and you can't understand what they're talking about. Or it was theologically weak in its lyrics, just watered down, um, you know, just just nonsense, I guess. Not nonsense, but just, just weak. Um, but Theocracy, I found, had the epic, epic um, instruments, had the great vocals, had the, the operatic, thematic um, type experience that like a dream theater or a queen would give you. Plus, it had great uh, lyrical content. Their lyrics showed that these were people who were the real deal Christians that studied the scriptures, that knew doctrine, that, that worshipped the Lord their God with all their hearts and, and with their musical talent. And so I was super thrilled to find them. And um, it's going to kind of be weird doing a reaction video to them um, just because uh, I've, I've heard all their stuff, so it's not going to be new to me. Um, I chose a song here. Hold on, I'll just I'll bring it up. So I chose a song here off their third album, I believe. Or is it their third or fourth album? Um... might be I think it's their fourth album um, and so it, it, it's um, called Easter I think this is the best song off that album um, it's off the album Ghost Ship so they have this album here I don't know if you can see that um, it, it's the I think it's just called Theocracy um, that's a phenomenal one of the greatest albums of all time and then there's also this one here um, which uh, it's it, those are one A and one B. You can't compare the the they're the greatest albums of all time. And then they have another one. Um, it's got a yellow cover. I I don't really know the names of the albums, but um, that one would be like you got one A, one B. That one is a close second. And then this album here was a little bit further down. It's still better than anything else out there. I just don't think it was as good as those other first three albums. Um, that being said. This song is one of their greatest songs off this album. It's it's just great lyrical content. It had a, an emotional impact on me. Um, do I want to share that testimony? I suppose I'll share that testimony. I was driving to work one time, um, listening to the song, and um, one of my brothers either texted me or left me a voicemail. I can't remember saying that he was praying for me, and then he was praying somehow that the that the Lord would really encourage me that day, or whatever it was. And all of a sudden, this song that I think I'd listened to before just opened up in a whole new way. I just, I really listened to the lyrical content. I was just touched by it, really blessed by this song. So it's a, it's a great song, and uh, it's called Easter, and uh, it's off the Ghost Ship album. And without further ado, let's jump into it and give it a listen. So I just want to say, I, I don't know if that was the original tent of the artists here, but when I listen to this song, I'm seeing it as sung by the disciples. Specifically, I picture in my heart, uh, Peter. Um, so this is, this is immediately after the crucifixion, before the resurrection of Jesus, and this is just Peter looking at the circumstances, um, or, or one of the disciples, or perhaps it was Mary, or it was, it was somebody intimately involved in the life of Christ, looking at the situation. And, and that's uh, like the lyric, the lyrics are coming from that point of view. 
So it seems Redemption's dream has died. You can see they're kind of discouraged. They were thinking that uh, Messiah was coming to bring in this new kingdom, and now he's dead. You know, and they're they're lost. Or you know, what do we do? such a good song but I just want to, you guys find it amazing I always did that that Jesus often would tell his disciples um, that he was gonna suffer and die that that the Son of Man must be crucified and raised the third day like he told them that these things were gonna happen he said I'm going to die and then I'll raise up after three days yet when those events occurred it's like God blinded their minds and like kind of caused them to forget those things. Like, like they, they, they forgot that this was foretold. They forgot that he said he was going to do this. Like, otherwise that they would have been like joyous. Like this is what the Lord said. He's getting up in three days. We got nothing to worry about. Instead, they became depressed and despondent. And, um, it's just kind of, it's kind of interesting to think about how the Lord must have just blocked that from their mind not gave them and I think the scriptures even tell that that they didn't have understanding yet <laughs> listen to that and rejoice like glory glory what an ending to the story <sighs> and then God calling out my son arise man Lord, and I, the theocracy is amazing it's just like switching directions just like they did right there
picture of Peter and John at the grave here, just before the dawn. So imagine I'm seeing this, and they're just like, you know, where's the body of our Lord? Before the light of day, they've stolen him and taken him away. Let me pray. And then I picture the Lord, like, speaking in the way he only can with his saints, with his born again saints, speaking to that inner man giving him a prompting. So this is the Lord talking to, to, to Peter or John's heart. Now, the person who put this video together, um, and perhaps this is Theocracy's uh, uh, original vision of it, is it's Mary, not, not Peter and John. I don't know, I just like to think of Peter and John there. And so here's the Lord. This this part is, is the heart of the song, man. This is so crucial here. The Lord talking to his heart. Brushes it off at first. It still is just despondent. speaks to him again. song like just the whole message man and just how it puts you in the disciples shoes whether it's Mary or Peter or whatever you just like think like what they were experiencing what their thoughts were at that resurrection and and what it means it's just a great 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 song and like the crazy thing is I wouldn't even put that in Theocracy's top five. They have so much good music just in, in their four albums. Every single song on those first three albums is phenomenal. 
like five star, ten out of ten plus. And then on this last album, Ghost Ship, it's like that Easter one, that's like a ten. And then there's other songs in there that are like a nine or eight, maybe a seven. But there it's still so far superior than everything else out there. Like it's just man. I can't say enough about them. The greatest band of all time. Like musically, vocally, the way they, 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 they put things together, man, how they got overlapping vocals. They got like a like a chorus going in the background while the main lyrics are going. Um, the changes in the instrument direction, like you got a real heavy riff and then it just changes and goes this direction. On some of their songs, they're like just rocking and you're like, yes. And then they just bring it even heavier and you're like, yes. And then they go even heavier and you're like, how can this be? It's, uh, man, I'm telling you, if, if you're a metal fan, if um, in your lost days, if you enjoyed the music of Metallica, um, or Rush, or Queen, or Styx, or um, any of the, like the progressive type metal, um, you will love Theocracy. Um, I'm blessed beyond words that, that the Lord brought them into my life. It just rejoiced my heart to finally like have this band that I could latch on to and call my own um, with good lyrical content and just great great sounding music I so again I can't say enough about them I love them so much and with that said we're gonna wrap it up as always I love you guys and we'll talk to you later <laughs>